when I was in my 20s, I loved hip-hop. I couldn't stand country music. I actually hated it. I'm in my 30s now, and I kind of like country music, and I kind of don't like hip-hop like I used to. Why? The words, the message. What is relatable to me in the message of country music? Family, God, patriotism, USA, drinking girls. She thinks my tractor's sexy. <laughs> That's a song. She thinks my tractor's sexy. This asshole's getting laid with a tractor? <laughs> I can run with this crowd. The bar set pretty low with this crew. I mean, hip-hop, what can I relate to in hip-hop? Flying in a G6? You're flying a private plane in a G6? I'm flying Southwest. <laughs> Seating group C, because I didn't check in online 24 hours before the damn flight. In the club, popping crystal, good for you. I'm at home, cracking Coors Light and saving the recyclables. <laughs> Pimping ain't easy. Pimping ain't easy. Easy. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Firefighting ain't easy. Math ain't easy. Waking up from a nap, that ain't easy. <laughs> Pimping is the easiest thing you can do in the world as a man. You sit around doing nothing all day while some girl you once slave on drugs goes out and fucks strangers. She gives you all the money, and every now and then you crack her cold one. Rough day at the office. Even the image, they're always pissed off. There's no smiling in hip hop, why? They're gangsters. That's the image I sell. You're supposed to be scared of the gangsters. Look, do gangsters scare me? Of course they do. But I will tell you who scares the shit out of me, country guys. <laughs> country guys scare me, why? They got farm strength, camouflage, skills. They hang out at Bass Pro Shops looking for utensils to kill animals with their bare hands. <laughs> Turn on the History Channel. They'll jump into a swamp in just jean shorts wrestling an alligator three times their size. They'll make their own beef jerky. Do you guys know how fucked up it is to make your own beef jerky? Not that expensive. You could buy it at a gas station for under a dollar, but you're gonna go out, kill an animal, skin it, gut it, dry it out. People are like, hey, what do you eat? Something I killed a year ago. Holy shit. <laughs> Now you give me a choice between a dark alley in Harlem at three in the morning. I'm in an alley taking a piss and I hear, what up, player? It's gonna scare me. But if I'm on the backwoods of Alabama camping, crickets chirping, stars out, nobody around for miles, I'm in the woods taking a piss in there. Howdy, y'all. Get me the fuck out of here. <laughs> that number one just turned into a number two real quick. Real quick. I do know this, if you're black, Latin, Asian, Middle Eastern, you make fun of people in this country, it's fun, it's funny. But if you're white and you make fun of people in this country, well, you're racist. <laughs> I think it's gotten so out of control, so out of hand, and so politically correct. Watch commercials, every commercial on television, the white guy is an absolute moron, a complete <laughs> drip. Here's the most recent one I saw, Tide. Husband and wife just had triplets, three loads of laundry. Wife is talking to the camera. Husband is folding the laundry. Wife goes, that's why we buy Tide, because we can do three loads for the price of one. Then she looks at her husband and goes, and he still can't fold laundry. He's like, yeah, I can't fold laundry. <laughs> can't wait to buy this shit. <laughs> Film that for real. And he still can't fold laundry. Yeah, he can't. And he shouldn't. <laughs> it was just a little busy all day putting a roof over her head. Remember that asshole? You like the Wi-Fi, the health insurance, the mortgage. You can think about that, dickhead, as you start all over and fold all three of these motherfuckers by yourself. Huh? <laughs> <laughs>